I'm gonna go over why I bought a Harley Davidson. I've had this bike for about a week now, riding it around. This is the 2021 Sportster Iron 883. I'll start it up right now to let you hear how it sounds like. Pipes are really quiet, so I need to upgrade these pipes here. So I'll do a quick review on this Harley, and I'll let you know what I think and why I chose this bike over the other bikes that I was thinking about, so stay tuned. So I've been riding a lot of other bikes, dual sport bikes, some old CB bikes. And currently I'm riding a Honda Grom. It's one of those little mini motos. I joined a group. You know, I wanted to upgrade to a bigger bike. And my first thought was to get a DRZ 400 Supermoto, the new 2021. And the thing is, I went to the dealership to sit on that bike. And it was really high up. I'm only f around 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, so with the Supermoto, I was only able to put one leg down like that. And then I ha I'd had to lean it over. I couldn't flat foot it. So a friend took me in to go see a Harley Davidson. And I've always liked Harley Davidson bikes. They're very iconic. The name is really cool. And they look great. Look at this thing. It looks amazing. So right when I sat on this, I just liked it right away. Because I can flat foot on it. Down here like this. It's just the perfect size for me. This is the 883. A lot of people say to get the 1200. But I'm okay with the 883. And I love this tank right here. I love how it looks. This logo, this matte black type look to it. However, you have to watch out on it. It will scratch up easily. I think this is just a little sticky residue right here. It's not really scratch. But yeah, the whole thing is matte black here. Um, this is a little bit glossy, glossy matte black fender um, on the front and back. But yeah, one of the main reasons is I did want to cruise and I did want to feel comfortable. These bikes are really heavy. Even the DRZ 400 was really heavy. And I was just thinking when I come to stop lights and stuff, I do want to put my feet down and be comfortable just cruise around. And so I felt like the Harley was a good thing for me. And I have been following the Iron bikes since the beginning when they first came out and I, I really love the style I did always wanted the 883 I watched a lot of videos on it and at that time I didn't know too much about Harley bikes what models they have right now they have the 48 883 1200 so after riding this for a week this is what I've read into it's not any major problems but I had to get used to the turn signals here See, if you want to turn right, you have to press right. If you want to turn left, press left. The other Honda bikes, all of the signals are on my left hand, and I like that more because this is too close to the on-off switch for the controls right here. There's no gas meter on this. It's very basic. So this switch right here, if I press through this, see, I've put 310 miles on it so far. And it has trip A, trip B, the time, and it does show gear and RPM. So it'll show first gear, how much RPM go you're going. And when you need gas, this gas icon will light up yellow. And my other bikes, it would show how much gas I have with bars on it. And so that did bug me for a little bit because I couldn't figure out when I would need gas. So pretty much every time I ride now, I just fill it up. And a lot of people are saying to set your trip here set it to zero like that every time you fill it up when it reaches 100 miles you know that it's time to fill up so this is a 3.3 gallon tank i want to say i'm i'm just getting around 100 miles right now i think on a full tank 
with my Honda Grom for the mini one the tank is smaller than that and I can get over a hundred I think I can get 120 to 130 miles on it let me turn this off and so yeah I'm thinking of buying a um, tank reader here where you connect right here and it shows you how much gas you have left I have to fill that up with 91 fuel for my Grom I just put in 87 but I feel like this bike is burning up the fuel faster because sometimes I feel like I don't even go up to 100 miles and it's already asking for gas but you know um, that's just the gas icon that comes up and I think with that icon maybe I have, I have another 20 miles so that's one thing that bugged me the turn signal bugged me this bike vibrates quite a bit you can see things rattling around so uh, you will have to get used to that I think I'm used to it by now already and it's okay but it does vibrate quite a bit and I am worried about things getting loose that's why they really suggest at a thousand miles to bring it in and do a overall checkup and tighten up everything uh, and the last thing that bugged me about this Harley is that I'm in California so they are very strict with pipes and right now the only pipes that's allowed in California I think are slip-ons and it, they don't look that great and I really want to get the Vance and Heinz short shot uh, pipes that a lot of people will get they sound a lot louder but they will not ship it to California so I have to find a way to get those uh, most of the pipes where you have to replace the whole the whole pipe it's illegal in California and so that is the hassle that I'm having right now because I really want to change up the pipes on this it's so quiet when I'm riding it around in the streets initially when you when you turn it on uh, it sounds loud but when you're riding around it is super quiet and no cars can hear me and that can be really dangerous for motorcycle riders um, I rode alongside with my friend and he says the same thing he says he can't hear hear me riding near him so the pipes definitely need to be louder so the things that I've ordered for this bike already I have the handlebars in I got the built well Frisco bars they are a little bit higher up and if you're thinking that this thing is too hunched over I've been riding this for a week already with these stock bars and they are okay they're not as bad as I thought I thought there would be too racer like where I'm going really forward but they feel fine and I've adapted to them however I did order the higher bars I think I got the was a six to eight inch lift on it like that and they are called the built well Frisco bars I plan on replacing this clutch level right here at first your hand will be fatigued it is very tough to pull this in so you have to get used to that so I am ordering new clutch levers and brake levers to replace that out which should be a lot smoother the mirrors right here as you can see these are the stock mirrors that were up all I did was you take them out you swap it over to the other side and you flip them down and they look like this the only thing right now is that these are they get too close to the tank so when you do a full turn it will hit the tank and so but a lot of the times when I'm riding I'm not doing a full turn on it it's only now and then but once I get my new Frisco bars on that shouldn't be an issue it should be higher and the other thing that I got are some progressive 412 shocks that everyone else is getting because the stock shocks you can feel every bump on the road and especially when you hit really big bumps you will feel it so I am replacing these shocks out right away these are very easy to replace a lot of the bolts on the Harley are these Torx type bolts along with the Allen bolts a little bit different from the Honda bikes that I've been working on also this thing right here you notice it is a belt drive right here but that's about it it rides and looks great I love this Harley I'm glad that I purchased this instead of the DRZ 400 I really feel that I would be struggling on the streets with the DRZ 400 just standing up at every light I have stalled at the light just a few times not to me but now I'm used to it and you know 
when I stall I just hold in the clutch just press start and it starts right up again at first I did have a hard time putting this into neutral this again is just my shoe it rubs off it's not scratching but I did have a hard time putting this into neutral and the neutral light will come on but I think I broke it in now where I've gotten the feel of it but at the beginning the neutral light was really hard to come on and put into neutral if you're wondering how fast you can go on the iron 883 I'm able to bring this up to 90 but it vibrates quite a bit and I feel pretty comfortable going 90 on it I don't feel that is dangerous wobbling or anything it just has high vibration you can cruise around 70 so in the freeway lately I've been going 70 to, 70 to 80 at the beginning they do want you to break it in so you got to keep the rpms a little bit low I'm trying to keep it around 4,000 I think some people suggest 3,500 but you can't really do that in the freeway it's going to be a little bit around 4,000 to 4,200 as long as you're not just really going up there to 5,000 I think it should be fine so I'm trying to break this in for the 1,000 mile and riding in the freeway so far I'm feeling pretty comfortable on it because this bike is really heavy and so when you first get this bike you should really practice on how to push it and lean on it and balance on it because I had to get used to that for now I feel good right now on balancing on it pushing it around and I feel really comfortable shifting on it shifting is a little bit harder but you have to get used to that uh, it is a bigger bike and I'm pretty comfortable on it right now but yeah um, I can pass cars in traffic pretty easily on this bike so don't worry about that if you're thinking about the 883 but you know if you do want a little bit better cruising speed go for the 1200 it will cost you a little bit more I am able to keep up and pass cars on my 83 in the highway and I feel fine on it but like I said it does vibrate and you should replace out your shocks because you will feel those bumps in the freeway so yeah this is my quick one week review of my Harley Sportster Iron 883 and it's the perfect fit and size for me I'll show you a video right here of how I look like on it like I said I'm only 5'8 to 5'9 morning height 5'9 <laughs> throughout the day I'll get lower I'll hunch over to 5'8 that's how it is
see look I'm trying to put it into neutral right now sometimes you just gotta rock the bike a little bit I guess and like you have to push up very slowly there we go you gotta go like very slowly um pushing the neutral pushing it up otherwise it won't go into it a canyon run on this bike already so I'm leaning a lot better on it I really suggest when you get your Harley to do a canyon run because you will learn a lot on how to handle the bike how to control it see like I'm leaning very sharp and it just scraped on the ground right now but that's what's the cool thing about this is that the pegs on where your feet are you know it has the uh, the little metal scrapers on it so that it doesn't really hurt your bike I'm also rev matching a little bit better on this now but I do need to adjust my uh, my throttle because there's too much play on it well that's all I have for this video hope you enjoyed it stay tuned I have the video for my canyon run coming up and i'll show you how i handled in the harley that's coming right up and hope you have a great day see you later